Here is a normal 12 lead ECG. 12 lead ECG consists of 3 standard limb leads, leads 1, 2 and 3, 3 augmented limb leads, AVR, AVL and AVF and 6 chest leads, V1 to V6. All 12 leads have recorded ECG of 3 cardiac complexes in this tracing. There is a long lead to recording at the bottom of the tracing which is a rhythm strip enabling better assessment of the cardiac rhythm. 12 leads can be acquired simultaneously and printed sequentially as in a 12 channel machine or can be acquired sequentially as in a single channel ECG machine. This particular tracing was recorded using a 12 channel ECG machine. In a normal ECG, P wave, QRS complex and T wave are usually all positive in leads 1, 2 and 3 as Ayinthavan designed the lead system in such a way that all the standard leads would record positive waves in a normal individual. Though QRS is positive normally in these leads, P wave and T wave polarity can show some variation in normal individuals as well. Lead AVR usually has all waves inverted as it is supposed to be oriented to the cavity of the heart. Chest leads show the normal progression of R waves from V1 to V6. R wave height progressively increases from V1 to V4 or V5 which usually has the tallest R wave. V6 usually has a smaller R wave than V5. ST segment is usually isoelectric throughout though an upsloping ST in leads V1 and V2 is not uncommon. T wave in V6 is usually taller than in V1. Minimal upsloping ST depression seen in the inferior and lateral leads could represent TA wave or atrial repolarization wave. Normal values for any measurement may vary with age, body size, gender and the population being assessed. Still, some normal ranges are useful for routine use while interpreting an ECG. To start with is the simple measurement of heart rate from the ECG. Normal range of heart rate is taken as 60 to 100 per minute in an adult in the resting state. A newborn infant can have a resting heart rate around 140 per minute. Resting heart rate comes down gradually as age advances to reach the adult range. Heart rate goes up when you exercise so that maximum predicted heart rate during exercise is 320 minus age of the person. The heart rate is measured in ECG from the interval between two consecutive R waves. It is actually the rate of the lower chambers or the ventricles. If the rate of the P waves is different from that of the R waves, it has to be measured separately from the PP interval. Rate of P waves will give the rate of the upper chambers. Both the width and height of the P are measured to assess enlargement of the upper chambers or the atria. P is due to the electrical activity of the upper chambers known as atria depolarization. A normal P wave in an adult has 2.5 mm as the upper limit for both width and height in a standard ECG recording at 25 mm per second paper speed. Width is increased in enlargement of the left atrium and height is increased in enlargement of the right atrium. If both are increased both atria are enlarged. Next is the PR interval measured from the onset of P wave to the onset of QRS complex. QRS complex is due to electrical activity of the ventricles depolarization. PR interval represents the time taken for the electrical signals to conduct from uppermost part of the atria to the beginning of the ventricles. Normal range of PR interval in an adult is 0.12 to 0.2 seconds. PR interval decreases as heart rate increases. So it is lower in children. The width of the QRS complex is another important measurement. Normally it is less than 
0.12 seconds in an adult. QRS complex which is 0.12 seconds, 120 milliseconds or more is called as a wide QRS and indicates slow or abnormal conduction in the lower chambers. It could be due to an electrical block in the conduction system of the ventricles or an abnormal sequence of electrical activation. QRS width is also lower in children due to the faster electrical conduction. Another important interval is the QT interval measured from the onset of QRS complex to the end of T wave. T wave represents the repolarization of the ventricles that is return of the electrical potential to the baseline after the activation during depolarization. Usually the contraction of the ventricles is over by the end of the T wave. Normally the QT interval is roughly less than half of the RR interval. Normal ranges are different for males and females. It can be taken as less than 0.4 seconds for males and less than 0.44 seconds for females. A normal range which is easy to remember is 0.34 to 0.43 seconds. Both abnormally prolonged QT interval and abnormally short QT interval can predispose to serious abnormalities of heart rhythm. PR segment or the region between the P wave and the QRS is usually at the same level as the baseline. The region between the T wave and the next P wave is taken as the baseline. As T segment, though supposed to be at the level of the baseline, is usually slightly upsloping and gradually merges with the beginning of the T wave.